I know this bedroom looks beautiful but I need a change. So this is the wall that we are going to make over completely. And this image from the Tipu Sultan's palace is my inspiration. The first thing was to rip the wallpaper. I had been scratching at this wallpaper for a couple of days now. I knew I wanted to get rid of it. I had a feeling the peel and stick wallpaper is going to rip off a lot of putty and as you can see your worries do come true. When this wallpaper was launched I was the first one to receive it and when I was applying this wallpaper I knew that it's going to create a lot of trouble um, when it's time to take it off and it didn't disappoint I must tell you. Even though it took me 10 minutes to rip off the entire wallpaper wall it was quite heartbreaking. The wallpaper itself was quite nice, it was waterproof, it looked beautiful but I need a change every few years and I tend to get bored and the fact that I can do stuff myself saves me a lot of money. I tried being really careful while removing the wallpaper but it wasn't really very... I don't know what even to say here. I knew I had to hire a painter to redo the putty of the entire wall so I just went for it and ripped it off. Especially in apartments, they uh, do a really shoddy job and give you like a really thin layer of putty on your wall. So even if you're sticking something like a double-sided tape or a 3M hook, it's just going to rip off the putty and, and uh, create an ugly mess. Here, as you can see, I had no choice but to call the painter. And when he started removing the putty, turns out the entire wall needed putty and so he redid the entire wall and painted a primer over it and gave it to me to start afresh. I wanted an earthy color palette so I chose brick red and rucksack green. I wanted to call the painter and get him to do the base coat for all the walls because I was painting about three walls um, in the room but he couldn't come on time and patience is something that I don't have when it comes to uh, rushing a project so I decided to paint the wall myself. It took me an entire Sunday to paint three walls and have it ready for what I want to do with it. If you look closely you can see that I've taped off one third of the wall. So I have a masking tape all the way um, around the room for three feet height. It was a Sunday and I had to use what I had at hand and I realized I don't have a large interior roller and this baby roller is all I had so I, I simply had to make do with it. I'm going to paint the top two thirds in rucksack green uh, and then the bottom is going to be the brick red. The idea right now is to do a Moroccan lattice panel on the brick red bottom and in between the lattice panels I want to do little motifs and see if I can color them and on top on the green do some kind of a self color stencil maybe when you're using a baby roller you have to go up and down the ladder multiple number of times to get a small little wall done i think it took about two hours to do the first coat of the green and the second coat happened in in less than half an hour this is how it looks at the end of coat two you can see some wet patches it's going to dry um, completely matte and the color looks lovely exactly what i had in mind next i'm opening the brick red color in the background is my priceless diy bedsheet you can see the number of colors on it and imagine the amount of projects that have happened on it Someday I plan to auction it and make a lot of money. Anyway, when you see that in a video things are out of focus and not really in the center, you know that it's nearing to the end of the day and I'm really tired. This is the brick red that we are going to use. The paint tin will have instructions on how much water to add. Here I'm adding a little more because I wanted more runny consistency. Um, I don't want the wall to be completely matte. I want to be able to do some texture on it. Once the water was added, I am mixing it with a brush and then I am going to roll it on the bottom one third. It's a Sunday so 
it's hair oiling day and I mixed one is to one ratio of castor oil and coconut oil and applied it on my hair and just to keep it all um, moist and warm I have put a little shower cap it's going to take about an hour to dry completely for me to start the next layer and that's good enough time for me to have a bath and clean up so this is me looking at the wall and as you can see it looks heavily textured and not really great but I have another idea for it I'm going to use a wet cotton cloth and dip it in uh, the same paint the watered down paint and just dab it on the wall to create more texture while the top is completely solid the bottom will actually look um, more textured and more uh, will have more depth to it so here I am dabbing it in color and just simply not worrying too much just dabbing it the camera actually does not bring out the true color of this wall taking a few steps back you can see um, how this texture looks it's still wet so um, you see the dark patches because it is wet you can see where I have clearly done the texture and where it's not textured so it's going to dry really beautiful here I've completed the texture and it almost looks like the laterite stone that you get um, in South Karnataka it looks beautiful I'm happy with how this texture turned out I have this Moroccan lattice panel uh, stencil that I want to use in the bottom one third the stencil is two feet by two feet so and my bottom one third is three feet so which means I'm going to get three little lattice panels vertically and I realized I didn't have my foam roller at home um, it was in the studio so I had a waste piece of foam lying around which I cut a piece and sponged uh, the color on to the stencil by then it was late evening and I have no idea why I don't have a single clip of me sponging and I did not realize I didn't have that clip until I started to edit this video. So here it is, all the lattice panel completed uh, in the bottom one third. And if you look closely, you can actually see that the background color doesn't have, is not a flat color, it's got a nice little texture on it. I wanted this part to be to have a very hand drawn kind of a feel and the stencil usually has those cuts and looks very um, I don't know what to say machine made like so these little cuts that are in between I'm going to um, fill them up with the same color and unfortunately I don't have a clip of that either here is how it looks after I completed the hand drawing after the first Sunday's work, um, work on the wall happened either early in the morning like 5.30ish or late in the night uh, post 8.30 which is my sleep time. So excuse me for not having all those clips. I also had a little um, lotus stencil which I am rolling on right above the, the partition line. Except for the paints, I've used all the stencils that I already had, um, all supplies I had at hand and nothing was new. Here is the green of the top two-third. I'm going to add a little bit of gold to it. Basically just to give it a little change in um, tone. And mixing the gold into the green. And this is going to be our color for the stencil on the top. I had another damask uh, stencil from an old project and that's what I'm going to use for the top and then it's just a matter of rolling the color onto it the sad part of doing this slightly tone on tone kind of look is that it does not look um, or rather you can't really see it uh, on a camera but the good part is it looks absolutely stunning and royal uh, in person After I completed the, the green stencils, I realized that the terracotta motif is giving a little too harsh contrast on the green. So I watered down some green and patted into the terracotta motif to, to simply mute it down. 
and that kind of did the trick another thing that i must mention is when i ripped off the masking tape from between it ripped off a bunch of putty and then i had to do a putty touch up and then touch up the green and the terracotta and um go through the whole hassle of doing this and once that was done we were done and it was reveal time but before that please look at the face of the girl who worked so hard to paint this wall for herself I forgot to mention that I added the little scallop detail on the white with the green and it looks adorable. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your feedback and I'll see you in the next one.